Hi there, I'm John from CNCROI.com and today what we're going to do is kill the resale value of this $400 drill. You might be asking yourself, why do you want to kill the resale value of a tool? Well, for an individual, you know, you might use this drill a couple times and you want to get rid of it at the pawn shop. There's no real reason to do that. But for larger companies, it's a very important thing. Uh, it reduces theft dramatically, for one. And for part reordering, it makes things very simple. So let's deal with the first one, which is theft. Um, with the laser, what you're doing is either color changing the plastic, uh, annealing the stainless steel, or going actually into the plastic with your website address, logo, whatever information you want. What this means is, let's say the employee says, hey, this is a great $400 drug and it's steel, bring it to the pawn shop. Well, it's not that simple because now they have your corporate branding all over it. So what they have to do is scrape it off. As soon as they scrape it off, you go to any pawn shop, they'll see that something's been scraped off at certain sections of the tool. Now, if there's two or three tools and they're all scraped in the same section, right away you know it's theft. Uh, the other issue uh, is that we could color change the plastic. Now, the color change of the plastic doesn't affect cleaning ability. So it's not like putting a tag on it that can be removed. There is almost no, you can't feel any difference with the color changing of the plastic. Um, I'll put some, some photos because it's kind of hard to see because it is so small. Now the second reason is part identif identification or tool identification. This tool is very simple, it's a, it's a drill. But for larger companies, they're very, very specialized tools. And maybe something wears out or they need to keep track of it. Well, what we can do is put a QR ID on there so they just scan it in and they have the history of the tool. If they need to reorder another tool, it's exactly the same tool because all the information for that tool is there. You know, uh, tools that are in heavy use always have their tags rip, ripped off or stuff that gets worn out. Uh, so let's take a look at this tool here being made in a couple different angles. You'll see the annealing on the top here, uh, color changing on the handle here and on the black here and a few other sections. You probably noticed in, the, in one of the past videos uh, that we actually went over a part twice. That was actually the top part here where I put cncri.com. The reason I went twice is because I was out of tolerance. That's one of the challenges of uh, engraving a tool. It has to be perfectly level. Now if you're having a thousand tools that are the same, you build a jig for it. Uh, but some of our customers have a thousand different tools. So you're not going to make a thousand jigs for a thousand tools to be used once. So you sort of have to use your creativity um, to try to love it as much as you can by eye. And sometimes you're off by, let's say, a third of a millimeter. If you're off by that much, there'll be a difference on the tool. So what you do basically then is you change the level of the tool or you make a slight modification and you go over it again. The advantage of our Austrian CNC laser is that we can go over the same section more than once and it will be exactly the same spot. So for us, if it's, let's say a little bit, we'll make an exaggeration like this. So let's say the tolerance is over here. It will engrave the first part, but not the second part. So the easiest way to fix that for us is to actually bring the table up a bit. So then now this is in focus and this is out of focus. Sometimes you need two or three passes and it's done. Uh, same thing with the top here. If you're trying to kneel it or something like that, and it's a little bit off, there'll be a difference in the engraving. So that's why you have to go maybe two or three times over it to make sure you get a nice sharp engraving. Again, we can go over the same section more than once and you would never know that we went over it more than once. Let's take a look at the other videos. The additional challenge we have with laser engraving or color changing uh, materials on a tool 
is that we have no idea what kind of plastic it is. For wooden tools, it's very straightforward. We have a ton of tolerance. Uh, but for something like this that is mostly plastic enclosed inside of metal, you have one kind of plastic here, another one here, another one here, another one here. And they all react differently to the laser. So generally what we do in that case is we engrave more than one section of it and we use different tubes. Because we have a fiber and a CO2, if I did let's say the top here, like you saw in one of the videos, as a CO2, it would not be legible. The reason is it would just burn the living hell out of it. So we have the fiber which color changes the plastic without melting the plastic on uh, most plastics. Now you saw in one of the videos that we did, or we're going to do the the top here, which is a battery, again enclosed in plastic. And in this case, it didn't color change it at all. All I did was engrave uh, the website address uh, into the plastic. So that's something we have to keep in mind whenever we do this stuff, is that how many tools do you have, what kind of materials do you have, and what do you want engraved onto the tool. So you might be wondering to yourself, how do I engrave a thousand tools as cheaply as possible but as high quality as possible? Number one, let us engrave on flat surfaces. The flatter your tools or the flatter the surface, generally we just do something in one pass which saves us a lot of time and you a lot of money. The other thing is you don't need a massive logo on all your stuff. The larger the logo, the more of a chance we're going out of tolerance. So the smaller the text, Again, the more efficient it is to laser engrave or color change the plastic or any other material on your tool. Now, for things like stainless steel, for instance, here you have a bit of a curve. Well, instead of engraving around this, which would take a very long time, just do the top. Now you know how we engrave this and you'll notice we also engraved or color change the plastic on the battery itself. Still works totally fine. Again the reason is our laser is never touching the tool. It's only a beam of light that's heating up the surface and color changing it or engraving into it. So even if you have tools that are very expensive and very fragile, the laser is the perfect tool uh, to do all the engraving and branding that you need to prevent theft and to make reorders a lot easier. So if you're looking for a company that could do that for you, we're right here. We can do it for you. I'll see you in the next video.